possible questions na maaring lumabas ngayong darating na Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination ang alay ko sa iyo for today. Board exam type of questions with rationalization that will cover your psychiatric nursing. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, though, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you. I upload my nursing educational videos every single week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help another like to see more content like this. With for they do let's jump into the video hi nurses kumusta kayo i would just like to say wherever you are right now i hope you are having a wonderful day because you deserve it i would just like to grab this opportunity to thank you guys maraming maraming salamat sa pag subscribe nyo at pag support nyo sa youtube channel ko para mina nga tayo ng para may 5,000 na tayo yay <laughs> thank you so much alam ko na marami sa inyo doon marami din sa 5,000 na yun ay mga nurses mga nursing student a medically inclined person on and I would just like to thank you for trusting me and supporting my channel. Maraming salamat din sa pag-follow mo sa aking Facebook page. Thank you, thank you so much! For today's video, we are going to discuss about your psychiatric nursing. Yes! I will give you 25 questions, possible questions with rationalization na maaaring lumabas ngayong darating na board exam. Na hindi ko napatatagalin to kasi alam ko na medyo lengthy itong video na to but I really really want you to listen carefully especially sa rationalization. I want you to put your score sa baba, okay? Para malaman ko kung ilan ang score mo. Again, hindi pataasan ng goal dito. Ang, ang gusto kong i-take mo sa mga nursing test banking is yung rationalization. I really put in the time and effort to give you the accurate rationalization. Make it simple and easy for you to grasp, okay? Now, in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to our formal discussion ng yung psychiatric nursing PNLE4. Yes, um ito nga ay another entry natin sa nursing test bank kung saan nagiipon tayo ng mga possible questions na pwedeng maulit at lumabas sa darating na board exam. Now, wag ka magalala kasi wag uh, dadagdagan natin yung mga videos natin about sa nursing test bank. And hopefully in the future hindi lang Philippine nursing uh, Philippine nursing licensure examination yung ating iko cover kundi pati na rin yung NCLEX, DHA, HAAD, Prometrics, um uh, CBT yung mga ganun. Now let me give you the objectives of this discussion. Well, I'm going to provide you the um the board exam type of questions. And um, after that, I will provide you rationalization per each board exam type of questions. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung very first video na in-upload ko, nakamukha nito ng nursing test banking where I actually cover the fundamentals of nursing practice, ililink ko yung actual playlist dyan. Pag nagpapot yung icon button, i-click mo yan pan kasama ng iba kong mga playlist sa nursing education. Now, let me provide you the instructions. Now, you will be given 25 board exam type of questions. I'll be reading the questions and the choices for you. You have 5 seconds to answer each question. The answer is revealed instantly after each question with rationalization. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Good luck, nurses! Board exam question number one. Marco approached Nurse Trish asking for advice on how to deal with his alcohol addiction. Nurse Trish should tell the client that the only effective treatment for alcoholism is A. A. Psychotherapy B. Alcoholic Anonymous AA C. Total Abstinence or D. Aversion Therapy Your timer starts now. The answer to this question, nurses, is what? Letter C. Let me just change here real quick. Letter C, total abstinence. Now, this is the only effective treatment for alcoholism. Yes, the best, um, the only. 
choose the best answer kasi dito. Yes, the patient can go uh, mag-join sa mga AA group, pwede mo yun. Pero we are, the question is really asking you the only effective. I mean, if you're gonna translate that, the best way, the best effective way of treating alcoholism. So the answer is letter C. All right, let's proceed. Nurse Hazel is caring for a male client who experienced false sensory perceptions with no basis in reality. This perception is known as Ano daw yung perception ng ano daw to? No basis in reality. All right, is it A hallucinations, B delusions, C loose associations or D neologism? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Letter A, hallucinations. Now, hallucinations are visual, auditory, gustatory, tactile, or olfactory perceptions that have no basis in reality. Hallucinate. Nag-hallucinate ang pas pasyente mo. Walang, walang basis of reality doon. Okay? Let's proceed. Question number three, board exam type of question. Nurse Manette is caring for a female client who has suicidal tendency. Mind you, suicidal tendency. When, ac when accompanying the client to the restroom, Nurse Manette should. So, ang tanong, kapag daw sinasasasamahan mo ang pasyente mo papunta sa bathroom, ano ang gagawin ni Nurse Manette should? Is it A, give her privacy? Is it B, allow her to urinate? C, open the window and allow her to get some fresh air? Or D, observe her? Tandaan mo, suicidal tendency ang pasyente mo. Nurses, your five seconds starts now. Alright, the answer is letter D. Why? The nurse has a responsibility to observe continuously the acutely suicidal client. The nurse should watch for clues such as communicating suicidal thoughts and messages, hoarding medication, and talking about health. The answer is D. Hindi mo pwedeng iwan na mag-isa ang suicidal na pasyente. Kasi gagawa yun ang opportunity para kitli ng buhay niya. Ayaw mo nun. Next question, number four. Nurse Maureen is developing a plan of care for a female client with anorexia nervosa. Ano ang pasyente? Ano ang pasyente mo dito? Diagnose ng pasyente mo? Anorexia. Which action should the nurse include in the plan? Ano yung i-include mo? O ni Nurse Maureen. Is it A, provide privacy during meals? Is it B, set up a strict eating plan for the client? Or C, encourage client to exercise to reduce anxiety? Or is it D, restrict visits with the family? Your five seconds starts now. All right, the answer to this question is letter B, set up a strict eating plan for the client. Now, establishing a consistent eating plan and monitoring clients' weight are important to this disorder. Tandaan mo na anorexia nervosa, alam nila yung mga calorie count, alam nila yung mga nutritional value ng mga pagkain, ok-ok -ok yung mga yan. So you need, um, gamitin mo yung pagiging ok-ok -ok nila when it comes to treating their, uh, their eating disorder. So set up a strict eating plan for the client that also encourages them to comply with the treatment plan or the a meal plan na ibibigay mo sa kanila, okay? Question number five, a client is experiencing anxiety attack. The most appropriate nursing intervention should include what? A, turning on the television. B, leaving the client alone. C, staying with the client and speaking in short sentences. D, ask the client to play with other clients. Ano daw? Experiencing anxiety attack. Ano ang pinaka or most appropriate mong nursing intervention? Nurses, your five seconds starts now. All right, the answer is letter C. Appropriate nursing interventions for an anxiety attack include using short sentences, staying with the client, decreasing stimuli, remaining calm, and medicating as needed. If you're going to turn on the television, nurses, lalong mag ajit yan. Ayon yan, masyado maingay. Keep the environment uh, um, quiet as much as possible. If you're going to leave the client, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
pwedeng um, kung anong gawin niya sa sarili niya, no, no, yan. Ask the client to play with other clients. Paano niya gagawin yun? Ajit nga siya, baka manuntok pa yan. So, letter C is the correct answer. Let's proceed. Board exam type of question number six. A female client is admitted with a diagnosis of delusions of grandeur. Delusions of grandeur. Familiar. Mm -hmm. This picture. Look at this picture. This diagnosis reflects a belief that one is... Tinatanong ka ng tanong kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng delusions of grandeur. Yun lang yun. Being killed. B. Highly famous and important. C. Responsible for evil world. D. Connected to client unrelated to oneself. Your five seconds starts now. All right, time's up. The answer is letter B. Highly famous and important. I define natin to. Ano bang delusion of grandeur? Now, this is a false belief that one is highly famous and important. Alay yung yung mayabang pero sumobra 10 times, 100 times yung kayabangan, ganun. Mga ganung level na yung parang delusional na siya. Alright, let's proceed. Board exam type of question, number 20. Uh, number 20? Number 7. A 20-year-old client was diagnosed with dependent personality disorder. What is the situation? Dependent personality disorder ang iyong 20-year-old client. Which behavior is not likely to be evidence? Not likely to be seen or evidence of ineffective individual coping. Is it A, recurrent self-destructive behavior? B, avoiding relationship? C, showing interest in solitary activities? Or D, inability to make choices and decision without advice? Your five seconds starts now. All right, time's up. The answer to this question is letter D, perfect. Individual with dependent personality disorder typically shows indecisiveness, submissiveness, and clinging behavior so that others will make decisions with them. Tandaan mo na kapag dependent, tingnan mo tong picture na to, he cannot stand alone. Hindi niya kaya yung mag-isa, kaya he needs advice from other people. All right, let's proceed. Question number eight. A male client is diagnosed with schizotypal personality disorder. Anong situation? Schizotypal personality disorder. Nurse, ganito ka magsasagot sa exam. You gonna like make sure that you underline the words, the key words as you read them. Okay? Which signs would this client exhibit during social situation? Ano daw ang exhibit ng taong may schizotypal personality kapag nasa a crowd siya, social situation. Is it A, paranoid thoughts? Is it B, emotional affect or affect? C, independence need? D, aggressive behavior? Your five seconds starts now. All right, letter A, paranoid thoughts. Clients with schizotypal personality disorder experience excessive social anxiety that can lead to paranoid thoughts. All right, yung tipong hindi naman sila pinag-uusapan, pakaramdam nila pinag-uusapan sila. Yung ganon. Okay, question number nine. Nurse Claire is caring for a client diagnosed with bulimia. Ano ang situation? Bulimia nervosa. The most appropriate, most, ito na naman yung most, meaning best. Lahat ito, good answer, pero, pero ano yung best answer? Pag nakakita ka ng ganyan sa board exam, yun ang ibig sabihin nun, ha? The most appropriate initial goal for a client diagnosed with bulimia is, initial goal mo sa ta taong merong bulimia nervosa, is it A, encourage to avoid foods, B, identify anxiety causing situations, C, eat only three meals a day. D. Avoid shopping plenty of groceries. Your five seconds starts now. Alright, the answer is letter B. Perfect. Bulimia disorder generally is a maladaptive coping the response to stress and underlying issues. The client should identify anxiety-causing situations that stimulate the bulimic behavior and then learn new ways of coping with the anxiety. Ano ang maganda sa, I mean, wala naman talaga maganda, pero ano yung distinct characteristics ng mga taong diagnosed with bulimia? Sila ay hindi um, denial, unlike sa anorexia. So they're very open about it and that's really one good way for you or for us nurses to get, uh, to establish rapport and build that trust with the patient because it is very important for us to you know to to 
to promote collaborative care with your patient and also to make them feel that they're safe so they can open up to you. In that way, matutulungan mo siya sa pag-treat ng kanyang eating disorder. Bulimia is not a, um, what's this, cognitive disorder, ha? This is a this is a t- this is a type of eating disorder along with anorexia. Okay, wag malilito. Okay, question number 10. Nurse Tony was caring for a 41-year-old female client. 41. Which behavior by the client indicates ano ang nagi indicate or indication ng adult cognitive development? Tinatanong ka ng stages of psychosocial development. Is it A. Generates new levels of awareness. B. Assumes responsibility for her actions. C. Has maximum ability to solve problems and learn new skills. Or D. Her perception are based on reality. Take note of the um, the age of your client here. Your five seconds starts now. All right. The answer is letter A. Generates new levels of awareness. An adult aged 31 to 45 generates new level of awareness. Sino ang nagpropose ng stages of psychosocial development? Nurses, si Eric Erickson. Now, na ito sana makatulong itong picture na to sa pag-guide sa'yo, sa pag-remember sa'yo ng concept ng psychosocial development. Okay? Now, let's proceed. Board exam type of question number 11. A neuromuscular blocking agent is administered to a client before ECT therapy. Neuromuscular agent. The nurse should carefully observe the client for ano ang oobserbahan mo sa pasyente mo na binigyan mo ng neuromuscular agent. That is the question. Okay? Observation. Anong hiningi sa'yo dito? Assessment. Is it A, respiratory difficulties, B, nausea and vomiting, C, dizziness, or D, seizures? Your, um, your five seconds starts now. All right, nurses, the correct answer is letter A, respiratory difficulties. Now, nurses, remember that neuromuscular blo- uh, blockers such as succinylcholine or anectine produces respiratory depression because it inhibits contractions of the respiratory muscles, okay? Tandaan mo na ang side effect ng iyong neuromuscular blockers ay RR depression, respiratory depression, or that's why it, you need to be mindful with the um, uh, uh, what's this heart rate I'm um, heart rate respiratory rate auto saturation those indications of your patient um, um, having difficulty of breathing all right hindi lang yon titingnan mo rin kung may nag exert ba ng effort ang pasyente mo kung mayroong um, di ba dapat ang normal breathing mo is effortless kapag nakikita mo na nag naggumagamit na ng accessory muscles yung mga sternocleidomastoid ang pasyente mo sa paghinga na dapat hindi naman sign yon or indication yon na ang pasyente mo ay pwedeng nagde-develop ng respiratory difficulties all right let's proceed what exam type of question number 12 a 75 year old client is admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of dementia of Alzheimer's type and depression. The symptoms, uh, I mean, excuse me, the symptom that is unrelated to depression would be A, apathetic response to the environment. B, I don't know. Answer to the questions. C, shallow of labile effect. Or D, neglect of personal hygiene. Your five seconds starts now. All right. The answer is letter C, shallow of labile effect. With depression, there is a little or no emotion involvement. Therefore, little alteration in effect. All right. Let's proceed. Question number 13. Nurse Trish is working in a mental health facility. The nurse priority nursing intervention for a newly admitted, newly admitted client with bulimia nervosa would be two. Is it A, teach client to measure INO? Is it B, involve client in planning daily meal? C, observe client during meals? Or D, monitor client continuously? Your five seconds starts now. Sana nakita mo tong term natin ha, newly admitted 
bulimia nervosa patient? The answer is letter D, monitor client continuously. Why? These clients often hide food or force vomiting. Diba, uh, nag, um, binge eating, binge eating, and then vomiting ang iyong bulimia nervosa. Therefore, they must be carefully monitored, okay? Board exam type of question number 14. Nurse Patricia is aware that the major health complication associated with intractable anorexia nervosa would be key term intractable anorexia nervosa. Major health complication. Is it A, cardiac dysrhythmias resulting to cardiac arrest? B, glucose intolerance resulting in protected hypoglycemia? C, endocrine imbalance causing cold amenorrhea? D, decreased metabolism causing cold intolerance or cold intolerance? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer is letter A. These clients have severely depleted levels of sodium and potassium because of their starvation diet and energy expenditure. These electrolytes are necessary for cardiac functioning. All right? Nurses, nakakahinga pa ba? Malapit na tayo matapos. Pang 15 na to. Hinga-hinga, galaw-galaw. You can pause this video. You can drink your coffee. No rush. No no uh, pressure. All right? Ayan, we're back again. Okay ka na? Oh, question number 15. Nurse Anna can minimize agitation in a disturbed client by... Paano mo daw? Paano daw i-minimize ni Nurse Anna ang pasyenteng agit? So, anong gagawin mo? Increasing stimulation, limiting unnecessary interaction, C, increasing appropriate sensory perception, D, ins uh, ensuring constant client and staff contact. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer is letter B. Limiting unnecessary interaction will decrease stimulation and agitation. That's why it's very important to make sure that you place your patient in a calm environment. Yung hindi masyadong isolated, lalo na kapag may mga suicidal tendency, kailangan mas malapit o mas malayo sa nurse station, mas malapit, okay? Keep it calm, keep it calm para hindi mas stimulate yung agitation ng iyong pasyente, alright? Question number 16. A 39-year-old mother with obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, OCD to ha, OCD, become immobilized by her elaborate hand washing and walking rituals. Nurse Trish recognizes that the basis of OCD disorder is, ano daw ang basis? Masyado mahaba yung tanong pero tinatanong ka lang talaga. Ito yung pinaka tanong kasi dito eh. Normally makikita sila dito sa dulo. Anong basis ng OC mo, ng obsessive compulsive disorder mo? Is it A, problems with being too con uh, conscientious? B, problem with anger and remorse? C, feelings of guilt and inadequacy? D, feeling of unworthiness and hopelessness? Your five seconds starts now. Time sub, the answer is letter C, feelings of guilt and inadequacy. Uh, ritualistic behavior seen in this disorder is aimed at controlling guilt and inadequacy by maintaining an absolute set pattern of behavior. All right, guilt and inadequacy. Yun yung kanilang compensatory mechanism nila, kaya nag, uh, ang mga patient with OCD, mapapansin mo meron silang rituals. All right. So let's proceed. Question number 17. Mario is complaining to other clients about not being allowed by staff to keep food in his room. Which of the following interventions would be most appropriate? Most appropriate is it A, allowing a snack to be kept in his room? B, reprimanding the client? Are you going to ignore or C, are you going to ignore the client's behavior? Shutaka or D, setting limits on the behavior. Your five seconds starts now. All right, letter D is the answer, setting limits on the behavior. Well, the nurse needs to set limits in the client's manipulative behavior to help the client control dysfunctional behavior. A consistent approach by the staff is necessary to decrease what manipulation? Manipulative kasi mga pasyenteng to. Ito, sa picture na to, meron tayong manipulation versus persuasion. All right? I hope na makatulong yung mga visuals na nilalagay ko dito along with my beautiful, gorgeous voice and my rationalization and the questions that I put in this video sa pag-aaral mo. Okay? Now, wag ka mag-alala kasi itong mga 
questions na to, maaari magtatanong kami. Um, kinuha ko siya sa mga previous board exams na nangyari natin a couple of years ago, five years ago. Kasi alam mo, nanin, may, mga, may mga tanong na nauulit. Aminin mo yan. Hmm, mali mo, isa dito. So, good luck. Alam mo na agad yung sagot. Or kung hindi man ito maulit ng eksaktong word, maaaring pagpalit-palitan lang nila ng scenario pero yun din yung tanong. Palitan nila yung words, palitan nila yung pangalan, pero yun din yun. Okay? Yun yung same thought. Alright, so let's proceed. Board exam type of question number 18. Connie, with borderline personality disorder who is to be discharged soon, threatens to do something to herself if discharged. Which of the following actions by the nurse would be most appropriate? Sasaktan ko ang sarili ko sa oras na ma- 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 ma-discharge ako o makaalis ako sa facility na to. Ikaw bilang nurse, anong gagawin mo, Connie? A. As a family member to stay with the client at home temporarily. B. Discuss the meaning of the client's statement with her. C. Request an immediate extension for the client. Or D. Ignore the client's statement because it's a sign of manipulation. Ignore, ang gigigil ako sa'yo, umayos ka ha? Your five seconds starts now. Alright, nurses, the answer is definitely not letter D. <laughs> Pag may sumagod nito sa sakaling kong, gigigil ako, ignore lang tayo. Alam mo, karamihan, lalo sa psychiatric nursing, pag may mga ignore-ignore, medyo magduda ka. Hindi naman siya absolute na, absolute na wrong, pero magduda ka. Mag, ma, yun ang parang, uh, ba't may ignore agad? Yung mga ganyan. So, magduda ka nun. Kasi ang tamang sagot dito is letter B. Any suicidal statement must be assessed by the nurse. The nurse should discuss the client's statement with her to determine its meaning in terms of suicide. Alright? So, question number 19. Joey, a client with antisocial personality disorder, belches loudly. A staff member asked Joey, Do you know why people find you repulsive? This statement most likely would elicit which of the following client reaction. Is it A. Depensiveness? Is it B. Embarrassment? C. Shame? D. Remorsefulness? Nurses, your five seconds starts now. All right, the answer is letter A, depensiveness. All right, when the staff member asks the clients if he wonders why others find him repulsive, the client is likely to feel defensive because the question is belittling. Meaning, nakakaliit, nakakapangliit. The natural tendency is to counteract the treat to self-image. Diba, minsan niniiwasan natin yung statement na mga close-ended question, hindi ba sa psychiatric nursing? Ano bang ginagawa natin? Kadalasan tanong, how do we ask questions sa mga psych patients natin? Tell me more. Diba, you don't say why because that kind of like put the patient in a situation where he will defend himself. Alright? So, you don't want that. So, you was din tayo sa mga close-ended questions. Alright. Si Aria talaga ginagawa to. Tell me more. Ano yun? Ano? Paki-elaborate. Ganon, Char. Hindi mo naman gaganyan. Eh. Pero, proceed na tayo. Question number 20. Which of the following approaches would be most appropriate to use with a client suffering from narcissistic? Nako, napakarami nito sa earth. Narcissistic personality disorder when discrepancies exist between what the client states and what actually exists. Ano daw gagawin mo? Sa mga pasyente may narcis- mga narcissist, best appropriate, most appropriate approach. Is it A rationalization, B supportive confrontation, C limit setting, D consistency? Your five seconds starts now. Nako, kung ako lang to, ang gagawin ko talaga dito, girl, confrontation, kasi wala siya sa option. Char, pero ang sagot ay supportive confrontation. Why? The nurse would specifically use supportive confrontation with the client to point out discrepancies between the client's states and what actually exists to increase responsibility for self. Last five questions na tayo for this video. Handa ka na ba? Humihinga ka pa ba? Galaw, galaw. Question number 21. Sally is experiencing alcohol withdrawal um, exhibits tremors, diaphoresis, and hyperactivity. Blood pressure is 190 over 87 mataas and pulse is 
92 beats per minute. Which of the medications would the nurse expect to administer? Anong medication ang ibibigay mo sa pasyente ang nagwe-alcohol withdrawal? Is it A. Naloxone or brand name Narcan? B. Benzropine? Cogentine? C. Lorazepam Ativan? D. Haloperidol or Haldol? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer is letter C. Lorazepam. Brand name, Ativan. The nurse would most likely administer benzodiazepine, such as lorazepam, to client who is experiencing symptoms. The client experiences symptoms of withdrawal because of the rebound phenomenon when the sedation of the CNS, central nervous system, from alcohol begins to decrease. Let's proceed. Question number 22. Which of the following foods would the nurse Trish eliminate? Anong food ang tatanggalin mo sa diet ng, ng pasyente mo ang nag alcohol withdrawal? Is it A. Milk, B. Orange juice, C. Soda, D. Regular coffee. Your five seconds starts now. Alright, nurses, the answer is letter D, regular coffee. Why? Regular coffee contains caffeine, caffeine po, which acts as psychomotor stimulants and leads to feelings of anxiety and agitation. Serving coffee top the client may add to tremors or wakefulness. You don't want that. Alright, oh, last three. Question number 23, which of the following... Following, would Nurse Hazel expect to assess for a client who is exhibiting late signs of heroin withdrawal? Signs, late sign ng yung heroin withdrawal, okay? Is it A, yawning and diaphoresis? B, restlessness and irritability? Excuse me. C, constipation and steatorrhea? Blood, um, steatorrhea, uh, fat in the stool? D, vomiting and diarrhea? Your five seconds starts now. All right, nurses, what is your answer? Perfect. You got it right, girl. Letter D. Vomiting and diarrhea are usually the late signs of heroin withdrawal, along with muscle spasm, fever, nausea, repetitive abdominal cramps, and back ache. All right, board exam type of question number 24. To establish open and trusting relationship with a female client who has been hospitalized with severe anxiety, the nurse in charge should, anong gagawin mo sa pasyente mong, uh, to establish relationship sa pasyente mong na hospitalized because of severe anxiety? Is it A, are you going to encourage the staff to have frequent interaction with the client? Or are you going to share an activity with the client? C. Give the client feedback about behavior. Or D. Respect the client's need for personal space. Your five seconds starts now. All right, nurses, the answer is letter D. You got it right. Letter D. Moving the client's personal space uh, increases the feeling of threat, which increases anxiety. All right. So... Last question na tayo for this one for our psychiatric nursing board exam type of question number 25. Nurse Monette recognizes that the focus of environmental um, M-I-L-I-E-U therapy is to so anong, ano ang purpose or anong focus ng iyong environmental therapy? Is it A, manipula manipulate the environment to bring about positive changes in the environment? I mean, in the behavior, B, allow the client's freedom to determine whether or not they will be involved in activities, C, role play live events to meet individual needs, or D, use natural remedies rather than drugs to control behavior. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. The answer is letter A, environmental, M-I-L-I-E-U, Therapy aims at having everything in the client's surrounding area toward helping the client. The answer is letter A. Nurses, dyan na nga natatapos ang ating um, 
a nursing uh, test bank for today sa ating psychiatric nursing, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Kung hindi ka pa nag- nagsasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na and hit mo din yung notif bell para lagi kang updated sa mga upload ko. Now, um, abangan nyo nga yung mga next video natin regarding sa nursing education. Magdadagdag tayo. Pakilagay po yung score nyo sa baba para alam ko kung ano, kung ilan ang score ng mga estudyante ko. Ha? Hindi ito, again, ang goal ng rationalization natin ngayon ay para hindi pataasan ng score kasi kailangan mo mataas ang score kailan sa araw ng board exam. Ngayon, ang goal mo ay maintindihan kung bakit tayo nag-arrive sa sagot na iyon. Kung bakit yun ang tamang sagot sa question na iyon. Okay? Help me out. Spread the news about my channel. Ipamalita mo na sa radyong sira ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh at ang pinakalibreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Nurses, good luck sa magte-take ng board exam ngayon. Darating na Mayo at sa mga December test takers natin. Sa mga susunod pa, balik-balikan mo lang tong video na to. Itong channel ko, marami ka matututunan about sa nursing. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You're already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down on the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists that I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. You simply click the second button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe except for my TikTok account which is Neil Gabe Official. I also invite you to please follow my page on Facebook. It's Neil Galve. Alright, I'll see you again.